Hi guys, it's Crystal here and welcome back to Politics in Pajamas. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today I want to talk about how Democratic moderates have been taking progressives for granted. If you like what you see, I hope you'll consider subscribing and clicking like on this video. It's totally free on your end and it helps me out so much. So today I want to talk about something that I think a lot of progressives are feeling as we get closer to finding a nominee for the Democratic nomination for 2020. Um, after a rough showing for Bernie Sanders on Super Tuesday, it's looking more and more likely that Joe Biden is going to potentially be the Democratic nominee. I still love Bernie Sanders. I still early voted for him in Illinois. I still, God, I still encourage you to go out and vote for him because if there's any hope of us changing this, it's you, you going out and voting for Bernie Sanders. But I'm also realistic and you know, the latest 538 polling data is showing Joe Biden is having an 89% chance of having the nomination compared to Bernie Sanders, who has currently a 2% chance of getting the nomination. And I'm pretty sure that factored into that 2% is the chance that Joe Biden dies suddenly. So, you know, it doesn't look great right now. I made another video about three things that could change the race and put Bernie Sanders back in the front runner spot. So if you're interested in that, I will leave that down below. But right now, a lot of people <laughs> are telling me that I need to get on the Joe Biden bandwagon, which is not a bandwagon that I wanna join. So Joe Biden is a very moderate version of a Democrat compared to Bernie Sanders, who has a very progressive platform. Bernie Sanders is offering thing or is proposing things like Medicare for all, medical debt forgiveness, which is just as far as I can tell, not even mentioned on Joe Biden's website, uh, student debt forgiveness, a much more expansive program than what Joe Biden is planning, which is basically just offering people the chance to use current loan forgiveness programs, which nobody ever qualifies for. And Bernie Sanders has a marijuana legalization plan for day one. Bernie Sanders seems to really understand the urgency of climate change. Joe Biden, not quite as much. And again, we are gonna run as Democrats, a moderate candidate. And I know a lot of you don't realize that Hillary Clinton was moderate because she was a woman running for president, but she was incredibly moderate. She was not exciting and she didn't do a great job of basically energizing the base, which is something that Trump is exceedingly good at on his end. Everybody is freaking out about beating Trump. They think running a safe candidate is gonna work and they are more concerned with getting these mythical moderate Republicans to support the Democratic nominee than they are with progressives. And I have to tell you, progressives have in a large part let this happen. We don't like Trump, they know that. They know that pretty much whoever they put up there, it's gonna be better than Trump and we're gonna fall in line and vote for that candidate because what's the alternative? Donald Trump. So they don't care about us. They don't care about the things that are important to us like Medicare for all, climate change, marijuana legalization, student debt forgiveness, medical debt forgiveness. And they don't have to because they don't have to appeal to us because what they're offering is in and of itself gonna be better than whatever the Republicans offer in 2020. But I'm getting really tired of it and I'm especially tired of it now that I've seen how moderates act when their candidate is not in the lead. Bernie Sanders had the front runner status for a few weeks during this primary season and during that time, all moderates could tell me was about how horrible Bernie Sanders was and how we should not support him. People started saying that they would rather have four more years of Trump and they were you know, harassing me online. And as soon as Joe Biden took the front runner status, I started getting messages about uh, party unity and how we need to get behind the candidate and how I can't, um, I can't be so spoiled that I would think that former years of Trump might be better than whoever the Democrats are running. That would be awful. They would never do that. They just think that we've forgotten everything that happened apparently. So I, I don't know what the solution is here. Right now, the Green Party doesn't have a candidate chosen. It looks like they're still going through their primary process. I don't know if I'm gonna vote for the Green Party because I don't know who the candidate is yet, but I just wanna throw it out there that moderate Democrats are extremely worried about what moderate Republicans think because moderate Republicans use their vote to express power. 
And I think progressives need to start doing that as well. And moderate Democrats need to realize that progressives are willing to do that as well because they've been taking us for granted and they have no intention of offering us these policies at all. That's been made very clear over the last month. They are actively against things like Medicare for all, even though a lot of them are on Medicare, which just like pfft, blows my mind. But if we as progressives want to have a voice, the most powerful thing that we have is our vote. And I think it's important to use it. Whether or not that means voting third party in 2020, I don't know. Obviously, no, I don't want another four years of Trump. But I also don't like being abused and taken for granted by my, you know, what I consider my own political party. So we will see. If you have a primary coming up, please, please, please go vote. Make all your friends vote. I will put voting information down below as well. And I will see you in my next video.